So, you know those times in class when you're super, super, super bored and you don't know what to do? Well, today I'm going to be showing you something that might get you in trouble, but also can be very, very fun. So, I'm going to be showing you today how to build a classical airplane. So, what you want to do, if you have a little, if you have these things on the side, uh, you can just pull those off. If you want them, just a uh, plain piece of paper. <coughs> okay. So now what I usually do is I sometimes just draw a random picture on there just for fun of it. But you don't have to. But <laughs> okay, so what you want to do is get... You want to get this side up here, any side, and you want to fold it like to the middle, as close as you can get into the middle. It'll make like a triangle right there. I oh, can't see it. Oh. And then right the other side, do the same thing. If you're not even, you'll live, and, and <laughs> it'll still turn out okay. Okay. So then after that. You want to get this side, and you want to do another type of triangle thing. Put it over, try to get in the middle if you can. And then do it to the other side. Like I said, if I'm not perfect, go to the other side. Okay. We're just going to throw my head there. <laughs> so then once now. you're so with that, you want to fold the inside and have it fold it together. Make sure you still have the tip and then you want to fold the trees. Okay. What you want to do after you fold it is uh, you want to fold it again and have it all lined up on the side. If the wing goes, if the end of the wing goes past the the actual like, body of it, it's fine. And then flip it over and try to get on the other side. Okay, and then you want to flip it probably and try to increase it a bit more. Okay. I always wanted how to build these. <laughs> okay, so I might have done that. Okay, so then you got classic, classic carrots. Now I'm going to be showing you how to throw a, a, a paper airplane. So first, you don't want to throw it like this at the very end, or else it'll either just go straight down or just fall backwards. And you don't want it to go too far up, or else it'll just either fall down or backwards. Same thing. So you want to fold it about maybe one fourth away, maybe, yeah, one third, right about there. And when you throw it, you don't want to. You don't want to just the wrist movement, you still want to, like that, you actually want to use your entire arm and go with it and kind of a little bit of the wrist, but not too much of the wrist. Okay. We're not, we're not, it's not going to throw right now, we're going to throw it to end the class period. With? That class. You deserve it. Yes. So that's how you throw a paper airplane. And there's some improvements you can do with the paper airplane by either taping the top of it. <coughs> So then the air stays in and doesn't release the air on the top and it goes there and throw it. And you can also staple the end so that it adds a bit more weight and staple the front so it gets it together too. So that's a bit more weight so you can go a bit farther. So, today I've showed you how to build a paper airplane, how to throw a paper airplane, and how to improve a paper airplane. So remember, when you're really, really bored in class, and you have nothing else to do, you can make a paper airplane and get in trouble, maybe, if some teachers isn't be nice to do, but it's a good way to do it, so there you go.